Hello, welcome back to Revised You, the learning platform where you can access a lot of learning materials through online as well as offline. So, we were discussing about animal kingdom. Yes, we have finished a lot of sessions on this and the majority of the sessions were about the basis of classification. Right? It's an important topic because it is the basis of this chapter right so i think now you are very familiar with the criteria which we use to classify animals right so today we are going to discuss a classification which is a broad classification based upon some common features so let's start and i repeat today we are going to discuss a broad classification of animal kingdom based on some common features right so this is the title and now what are the common features that we are used here to classify animals see the first point is levels of organization what are the levels of organization could you please say yeah there is cellular level of organization and tissue level and organ level also organ system level right organ system level so this is about the level of levels of organization and using this categories we are going to classify animals in the next slide okay now what is the second point yeah it is the symmetry so what are the classifications included in symmetry do you remember yeah yes very correct which are those classification we have classified animals based on their radial symmetry pentamerous radial symmetry not writing the full <clears throat> i think you will be you will be able to understand this right and bilateral symmetry etc okay we are just refreshing up all the points that we have studied and what about coelho yeah the animals having coelho are known as coelho mates and those do not have coelho are known as a coelho mates and what about the animals having false coelho yes they are called pseudo coelho mate right so based on these three main points based on three these common features now we are going to classify the entire animal kingdom into a broad classification okay so let's see what is the classification and how it is classified look this is the broad classification based on the points that we have discussed based on the main points that we have discussed today and here it is denoted the kingdom which is the kingdom yes it is kingdom animalia which is including multicellular organisms right so here the, it is denoted as the kingdom and here the first division is based on the levels of organization okay so animalia is divided into two here based on the level of organization the first category is cellular level and the second category is the common group of tissue level organ level and organ system level of animals okay now here the second division is based on the body symmetry right yes and there is asymmetry also right yeah so based on this asymmetry of animals some animals are classified here 
and if they are having radial symmetry they are coming under this tissue or organ or organ system level and also there is animals having bilateral symmetry also so these are also included in the second category of levels of organization now the third point the third criteria is the coelom so according to this animals are classified here and last it is denoting that the each name of phylas here so in the last section here it is written the name of each phylum which is coming under this classification clear now we will look one by one so kingdom animalia is divided into cellular level organisms and another group which including tissue organ and organ system level of animals so that's about le level of organization so in the first category which is cellular level there is most of the animals are asymmetrical in nature their symmetry is asymmetry which means they have no symmetry at all right and what about their coelom yes most of the animals almost all the animals are having a coelomate coelom which means they have no coelom so they are called a coelomata and which is the first phylum coming under this classification yes phylum porifera right phylum porifera so phy phylum porifera is having cellular level of organization and they are asymmetrical in nature and they are included in the class acelomata and what is the example yeah sponges right and that's it the first category now the second major category based on levels of organization which includes tissue organ organ system level of animals and they are again classified based on the symmetry there are radially symmetric animals and bilaterally symmetric animals in radially symmetrical animals they are having no coelom which means they are acelomata and which are the categories coming under this yes coelandrata and tinophora and coelandrata coelandrata is also known as nidaria because in this category there is some specialized cells called nidoblast cells that's why they are called nidaria also and we will study in detail about all these phyla so and so what about coelandrata and tinophora they are having tissue level of organization you remember right coelandrata the example hydra yeah they are having tissue level of organization now they are having radially symmetrical body and they are included in acelomata now see based on the symmetry the animals are again classified here and they are included in the bilaterally symmetrical organisms so which are the phyla coming under this to know that we have to classify these animals more based on the body cavity or coelom so there is acelomates in this category and also pseudo coelomates having false coelom and also true coelom having animals which are known as coelomates so here the acelomates are the platyhelminthes you remember right flatworms yeah so platyhelminthes the phylum platyhelminthes is having a coelomate body cavity which means no body cavity and they are bilaterally symmetrical and they are having organ system level of organization so the next classification is animals having false coelom there ash helminthes are included so ash helminthes are having false coelom which means they are pseudo coelomate they are bilaterally symmetrical and they are having tissue not tissue organ or organ system level of organization so what about coelomates under this category coelomates a lot of phyla are coming where one phyla is not actually included here but they are included here only because they are uh, having a true coelom 
this echinodermata right this echinodermata is coming under this area but we can't classify them like they are having true coelom here that's why they are included in here and put an aster sign here okay now which are the phyla coming under coelomics yeah phylum annelida as ha is having true coelom phylum arthropoda is having true coelom arthropoda is included yeah insects are included in arthropoda and, and now mollusca okay the snails and the uh, pearl oysters all all are included in this phyla and echinodermata as we have already told yeah they are the star fishes now the hemichordata phylum hemichordata okay and the final phyla is chordata so in this chapter we are going to discuss all these phylums and their common features also their examples i think this broad classification is clear for you so we'll see you in the next session thank you Thank you.